I flew 13,326 miles into three different countries to find out the question, what is more worth it between economy, economy comfort, and business class? Is business class really worth the extra cost, or should you save your money and points to either get economy comfort seat or just really save and get the cheapest economy seat available? So join me as I'll be going into a deep dive of each flight option to answer that question. My first flight was from San Francisco to Paris in economy in the back of a Boeing 777. I assume most of you had the displeasure of flying economy, so I won't linger too much on this. Legroom was okay for someone like myself who's only 5'9", but over the 11 hour flight, the lack of legroom gets old pretty fast. Dinner was pretty good with a chicken and rice option along with a few other breads and desserts. The TV in economy is more than big enough with the distance it is from you and is easily the best part of the flight. If you're like me, sleeping on a red eye while in an economy seat is rough with me getting pretty minimal amounts of shut-eye. The flight costs as low as $300 one way and ranges up to $600 for this particular route. However, I was able to get this seat using points via KLM at around 22,000 points, or about $220 worth. My son Sam even got this cool and unique small toy kit that helped us keep them occupied for the 11 hour flight. Overall, the flight was decent with good amenities on the TV with tons of options to keep you entertained. The food was decent, but the lack of legroom and unless you're able to fall asleep anywhere, you might end up being up for most of the night. For my second flight, I flew 8 hours from Amsterdam to Kilimanjaro International Airport in a Boeing 787 in KLM's economy comfort seats. My particular seat was incredible as I selected the seat that started the economy section, which means I had nearly unlimited legroom. I literally could not touch the barrier in front of me. Food will be exactly the same as you'd find in the economy as the same kitchen and options, so no upgrade there. Since my seat was in the front section, the TV is stowed in the armrest and is the same size you'd find typically in economy seats. There is still plenty of big screen for your viewing pleasure. As you are seated at the front of economy class, you do get to board and deplane the aircraft sooner and faster than traditional economy where I typically am always all the way in the back on most flights. Not all economy comfort seats are created equally as my seat basically had unlimited legroom. However, if these seats are not available, a typical economy comfort seat will have about two extra inches of legroom and two and a half inches more of reclining space. Economy comfort through KLM is an additional $139 charge on top of your economy class seat. If you do pick these seats that is not in the front like I did, it's about $10 cheaper. So assume you paid $450 for your economy ticket like it is for this route. With this add-on, it will be $589 or about 58,900 points via KLM. Overall, while the food and entertainment options were the same, the unlimited legroom was an incredible upgrade and made this flight a lot more pleasant. However, if you still struggle in standard economy for sleeping, you will likely still struggle in this upgraded seat. Finally, I saved the best flight for last with my business class flight from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia to Paris, France on an Airbus A350 for an 8 hour flight. This is easily the best flight I've ever taken, but is it worth the steep price? Before you get into the plane, you have the massive advantage of being treated with the Ethiopian Airways Business Class Lounge, something that's common with most business class flights. While I have access to many lounges thanks to Priority Pass, Business class lounges take it up a notch with incredible food options, amazing bar, and even showers to refresh yourself before you get on your luxurious flight. When it's time to finally board the aircraft, as you're still admiring your luxurious seats, you're given a glass of champagne before takeoff. Something I wasn't used to was being given an amenities bag to help me make the flight as comfortable as possible. Another thing I wasn't used to was actually getting a menu of food options as there's so many different things to choose from. The legroom is more than you can ask for and need unless you are an exceptionally tall person. You will not be cramped in these seats. While I waited for my food to be prepared, I admired how much larger the TVs were in business class than economy. While the TVs were also touchscreen, since they are much further away from you than in economy, the TV is controlled via remote from the comfort of your seat. The provided headphones were significantly better than economy with these nice noise cancelling over the ear headphones. The food finally arrived and it was outstanding. Leagues better than what you would find in the economy class. Coming in three courses, with the main course being an excellent salmon dish, this isn't a meal that I would expect to find in an actual restaurant. Of course, you had to finish off with dessert with this amazing brownie treat right before bed. While all these extra amenities are nice, they are truly the cherry on top of what the main selling feature of business class is, the lay flat beds. As I've already mentioned, I struggle to sleep in traditional economy class seats. This is an absolute game changer and gave me easily the best night of sleep I've ever had on a flight. Now, what did this whole experience run me? It's no secret that business class is significantly more expensive than economy. 
On this particular route from Kilimanjaro to Munich, one would expect to pay around $600 one way in economy, or about $739 in economy comfort, with business class ranging between $2,000 to $3,000. However, you can get great deals using points, which is how I purchased this flight using 60,000 points or about $600 worth. While well, this same flight and economy was about 30,000 points or $300 worth. Understandably, this is a great deal where I got lucky, but you could typically expect to spend between 100,000 to 200,000 points or one to $2,000 worth. Overall, business class was incredible. Easily the best flight I've ever taken in my life. So after all of that, obviously business class is the best option, but is it the most worth it? When stacking up the three options, I can say economy class is easily the least worth it as economy comfort is only a $139 upgrade with incredible legroom instead of being cramped into these tiny seats. However, if the front row of economy comfort is not available, I'm not sure I can say the same $129 upgrade is worth the extra two inches of legroom. Business class is outstanding, but also outstandingly expensive, where if you're paying in cash, I honestly cannot say it's worth the upgrade. But if you have a large sum of airline points, it might really be worth the upgrade. So with all that being said, I have two different answers on what is most worth it. If you're paying cash for a flight, that $139 upgrade to economy comfort in the front row is too good to pass up. The unlimited legroom makes this well worth the extra cost that upgrading to business class is hard to factor in paying an additional $2,000 to $2,500. However, if you have enough airline points burning a hole in your pocket, business class is easily the most worth it for being treated like a king, as well as the amazing leg room and lay flat bed that is an absolute game changer. Economy gets left in the dust, so do yourself a favor and treat yourself for your next long haul flight. You have earned it.